chapter 16 time direction and space explanation of the lesson time direction and space we do different things from the time we wake up every day we go to school in the morning we come back home in the afternoon play with friends do our homework eat and sleep we can do all these things on time if we learn to tell the time telling time we use a clock or a watch to tell the time a day has 24 hours each hour has 60 minutes each minute has 60 seconds clocks have 12 numbers they have a small hand to count the hours and a big hand to count the minutes the hands keep moving from one number to the other we tell the time using the numbers closest to the hands the sun also helps us to tell the time when the sun rises it is bright this is morning in the middle of the day the sun is right above our head this is noon and the time is 12 o'clock in the day the time after that is called afternoon when the sun sets it is evening and then it gets dark the moon and the stars come out at night we go to sleep the middle of the night is at 12 o'clock and it is called midnight we call the present day today after midnight today it becomes the next day we call it tomorrow we call the day before today yesterday we say am for the time before noon and pm for the time after noon seven days make a week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday there are about 12 months in a year january february march april may june july august september october november and december 30 or 31 days make a month it is only february that has 28 or 29 days the 12 months make a year we do different things during the day sometimes we move from one place to another for this we need to know the directions so that we do not get lost we use words such as in on right left straight front behind above below near far and up down to say how to reach a place we also use words such as east west north or south these are the four main directions the sun rises in the east and sets in the west if you stand facing the sun in the morning you are facing east west is behind you north is on your left and south is on your right a compass is an instrument used to find direction the needle of the compass always points to the north drawing that shows us where places such as buildings, roads, rivers, train or bus stations 
and so on are is called a map we can use a map to find our way to a place using directions on a map the top part is north the bottom is south the right is east and the left is west a short summary of the lesson we do different things at different times of the day we use a clock or a watch to tell the time there are 60 seconds in a minute 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day a day is divided into morning noon afternoon evening night and midnight there are 7 days in a week and 12 months in a year east west north and south are the four main directions a map is a drawing that can help us to find a place we find a place using a map of directions